What's up guys and welcome back. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about three kind of features or tips and tricks I guess of Revit that I think are really really useful for students. Um, I don't really want to waste any more time introducing it, I just want to get right into it. But if you do like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button below. Um, also any questions or things like that, you can post those in the comments below. But let's get right into it. So the first one is actually the massing. So you can see here the massing and site tab. You just need to come in here and you've got this in place mass tool. So this creates a mass, so basically a, a unique form that you can kind of sculpt and mold and push and pull um, with a little bit more flexibility than you could with the standard Revit, you know, walls, roofs, floors, and those kinds of elements. So I'll just click in place mass. You can give it a name, we can just hit OK though. And then you see this interface changes and you can choose from these draw tools. So for now, I'm just going to maybe just do a rectangle just to keep it simple. Put that in. And we can change this shape around a little bit if we want to. For example, like that. Notice it's still 2D. Um, then once we're happy and we want to extrude it to 3D, we can select it, come up to create form and hit that boom, solid form. You can see it's just pull it out kind of an arbitrary amount. It's 4 meters in this case, but we can drag it up and down, we can also select some of these edges and some of these points or vertexes to create kind of the shape that we want. So we might do that, I might leave this, maybe drag this up a little further, like that. Um, then once you're done, you just hit finish mass, like so. Um, and I might just go wall by face just to put some walls, some solid geometry onto this to have a look at our next tool. Uh, like that. Okay. Um, next favorite tool, uh, or really important tool, I think, is the section box. So to do that, we can go into uh, in the 3D view, come down here to you see the section box option, which is by default unticked. All you need to do is tick it on, and you'll see this uh, cube or this uh, box basically around our entire model. Um, with handles on each of the faces, so you can just grab any of these handles and drag them in like that, and you'll see that it's basically cropping or slicing our building in 3D. Let me bring this in here like that. So this is a really handy way to not only work but also to present your work and your your drawings in a sort of a 3D section or a perspective section or perspective plan or something like that. You can uh, use the section box to do that. Um, and the last tip, which is probably handy here as well, is to just tile windows. So if you come up to the view tab and hit, you've got here tab views and tile views. So currently we've only got one view open and it's tabbed up the top. But if we were to open, let's say the plan and an elevation. So now we've opened one, two, three tabs across the top. If we wanted to have a look at these kind of side by side or all at the same time, we can come up here and hit tile views. Or you can see the shortcut there, WT. So if I hit WT on the keyboard, you can see it's uh, titled all those windows. We can see them all side by side. It's probably a, it's a really good way to work in Revit. Um, another quick tip, probably just a little bonus tip here, to maximize these things or zoom the extent so we can see everything in each view. All you need to do is double click the mouse wheel. So if I double click the mouse wheel there, double click here, and double click here, we can really quickly kind of see uh, in elevation plan and in 3D, the overall kind of building that we're uh, that we're currently modeling. So that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful. Um, I think I've gone a little bit over a couple minutes, which I was aiming for. But if that was helpful, hit that subscribe button. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions for this video or future videos, please leave them below in the comment section. Um, but I'll be making more videos like this pretty much uh, every day. Um, so I hope you like it. Thank you.